department, who really was able to um, develop the leads necessary that allowed us to bring people in custody that we did yesterday. And there's been some subsequent, a subsequent arrest as well. But uh, the investigation led us to serving a search warrant yesterday morning, shortly after 11.30 a.m. at 284 West Barstow. At that location, uh, a individual named Aaron Navarez resides, as well as his younger brother. They live there with their parents. The parents are going through a divorce at that time, and uh, I'll talk about, uh, talk about that in a little bit. Uh, in terms of the arrest, I will tell you that the 17-year-old brother has admitted to being involved in five of the vandalisms. Of one of those uh, vandalisms at the Mormon Church. Uh, the second one uh, was at St. Anthony's, and there was actually two vandalisms that occurred at that location. Also admitted to the Bullard High vandalisms, and then a fifth location or a, a fifth vandalism that had not been reported to us, and that was at Baird Elementary School. Uh, the older brother, uh, Aaron, has admitted to being the lookout, lookout at the Mormon church uh, while his younger brother had climbed up on the steeple area and tagged it, and uh, was also involved in the vandalism that occurred at St. Anthony's. He was the individual that painted the skull as well as put a some type of Japanese symbol on a door that uh, that means fire. Both of those individuals have been taken into custody for felony vandalism uh, since it involved a church. And uh, while the search warrant was being served, there was certain evidence that was collected at the location. The uh, number one, there was a notebook found at the location with the words Merry Men written in that. As you know, Mary Men was a, a tag that was used at the various sites. Uh, second, there was spray paint that was located along with clothing that had uh, spray paint on that clothing. Uh, third, there were some smoke bombs. Uh, I worked tirelessly for a couple of days out to bring what is, he described as complicated. It's insanely complicated uh, to, to, to see how this is all fitting together when you've got vandalisms that turn into a bomb threat, which are disassociated really from the tweets and all of the hysteria caused by um, the social media. So for us to be sitting here 24 hours really later and have multiple arrests be made um, from the tweets and the vandalism and to know who's a person, person of interest and to be uh, ready to talk to everybody involved is quite astounding. I think I, I would speak not only for all the kids in our district, um, but throughout our city and all schools associated in our entire community chief, I want to say thank you to you and the entire police force. It's a phenomenal, a phenomenal job. Just terrific, terrific work done. Very, very well. Um, 